In the weekdays with Bernie segment tonight, two scorching topics, the resignation of Van Jones, we just discussed with Glenn Beck, and the resignation of ABC News anchorman Charles Gibson. Fox News analyst Bernie Goldberg joins us now from North Carolina. All right, let's get to Jones first. Um, right. You were actually studying the media coverage of uh, Jones, and you found what? Well, until the resignation, when they, when they had to report it, nobody covered the story. I mean, literally, the New York Times had zero words about it. And that was also true of NBC News and ABC News. The Washington Post had a little bit. CBS Evening News had a story Friday night. But I, I, I've been thinking about this, Bill, and I'm, I, I've come up with three possibilities for why they could ignore the story for as long as they did. One of them is they just didn't think it was news. Now, if you don't think that a presidential advisor the president says green jobs are important. He was the green jobs guy who signs a petition right. calling for an investigation into whether George Bush was involved in. Un I mean, that's psychotic. And, and if The New York Times doesn't think that's news, then they're not journalists over there. A second possibility, I think, is more realistic. And that is that they, they looked at the story and they said, this is a story drummed up by crazy right wingers, you know, no names necessary. And 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 they hate that. What they really hate are conservatives. So if conservatives care about it, they don't care about it. The third possibility is simple. Maybe they were just looking out for their guy. They figure Barack Obama is too historically important to fail. So they didn't do the story. But That's you know what? what? I, I don't care. Oh, I, no, I think you're the combination of, of B and C. I was going to say, it, it's even Fox if it's a combination. News, it's Fox News. It, look, Glenn Beck drove the story on Fox News. It's Fox right. News, not Glenn right. and not O'Reilly. I mean, we right. get it, but it's Fox News that they despise. And when Fox That's News breaks a story and then drives the story, the media either ignores the story or denigrates Fox News. That's the game. Exactly, exactly. And that's why the second reason I gave is, the, is it's certainly they're looking out for their guy. But the second reason that if this is a story that's being driven by Fox News, then the New York Times doesn't want to get that. near it. Right. Yeah. Okay, now let's go. Were you surprised when uh, Charlie Gibson resigned? Yes. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know it was coming. And, and it's either the, the story that they're putting out, which is that he resigned, okay, or it's possible that he was forced out because of ratings. I don't know. It could be either one. But I'll tell you this, Bill, whichever it is, it really isn't that important. And that's because the evening news on the networks really isn't that important. No, it isn't anymore. I, I agree with you. But I, I, I said, uh, from the jump. Let me just say this real quick. Go let ahead. me say this real quick. Well, you were away last week. I said that if Bill O'Reilly resigned, it would create a much louder buzz in this country than if Charlie Gibson resigns. Now, why is that? Because the evening news is an idea whose time has come and gone. The, the trajectory of network television news is south. The trajectory of Fox is north. That's true. And that's why it's important. And prime time is also a consideration. Now, from the beginning, I said that Charlie Gibson, whom I like and respect, and I believe you do too, honest man, hurt himself right. by the glasses on the nose and kind of looking down the camera shot at Sarah right. Palin. And then the question, the way he phrased it, hurt him among moderates, conservatives, and women. Roll the tape. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. No, the Bush Doctrine, enunciated in September 2002, before the Iraq War. I believe that what President Bush has attempted to do is rid this world of Islamic extremism. And I think Mr. Gibson lost viewers doing that, uh, and they never came back. Well, the glasses on the nose w was needlessly, you know, uh, snippy or officious or whatever word we want to use. But, Bill, I... You know, do you think that, that there are that many people who watch ABC World News or, or NBC Nightly News or the CBS Evening News who are big Sarah Palin fans? Yeah, I don't think I, so. I think that in middle America, where most of the viewers are for the nightly news, that women and moderates and conservatives did not like the whole tone of that. Whereas with Katie Couric, it was a different tone. 
that one was kind of, you know, you're not worthy. And I think that hurt Charlie. I thought that was a major mistake. I'll give you the last word. Well, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if you can ever prove it, if can't that prove was the it. case. It's a theory. But, uh, you know, your, your gut feeling is that it, it had something to do with it. Mine is that. No, his ratings uh, came down after it. Yeah, they, but they, you could see them come down. Bill, but two, 2008 was, was an election year. Of course the ratings were going to come down in 2009 versus us. 2008. You want to know why? Because people are voting with their remote controls when they feel alienated from Barack Obama, and they're going to Fox. All right, Bernie Goldberg, everybody, directly ahead, President Obama.